Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to share some packaging ideas for small business owners looking to keep packaging costs low without compromising on quality. Although these tips are from a small candle business, they can be applicable to any small business in general. I started a candle business last year in March and launched it on Amazon, which meant I needed to ship large quantities to their warehouse. Depending on the season, sometimes I had to ship out hundreds of candles at a time, which required higher upfront costs compared to storing and shipping products myself. There are pros and cons with selling on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure I'll launch a Shopify store this year. I've been going back and forth on this idea, but I think it'll be the best for my business in the long run. I've only been doing this for a year. I'm not an expert in this area. I'm just here to share my experience and what's worked for me. So here's how I did it. The first way I created custom packaging on a budget was with the use of stamps. In Canada, I found Vista Print to have the best prices for simple custom stamps. Some of them have low reviews on their site and in their photos, it doesn't look like they work. The two I've purchased are great and I've been using them for almost a year with no issues. I stamp my packaging, shipping boxes, concrete trays that I DIY, cork backing for my Jessmanite pieces, and I've seen people use them on tissue paper and craft paper. There's usually coupon codes you can find online for deeper discounts. I checked to see on Rakuten if there are additional cashback offers. I also found that making small thank you notes on business cards from Vista Print was the most cost effective. I used a coupon code and ordered 500 and it came out to around six cents a piece. I felt that it was a better option to go with a professional printing service based on the quantity I needed. It's also nice to bundle your items in one order to save on shipping fees, which is what I did with the business cards and stamps. You can also purchase cute little stamps to customize your shipping boxes. The second tip for custom packaging on a budget are these small sample bags. I did this in the beginning of my small business journey to save some money while also having packaging that looks cute and is in line with my branding. I know these bags are relatively inexpensive to begin with, but I couldn't find small pink bags, so I purchased a larger size that was available and cut them into three pieces, glued up the sides, and made multiple bags. This is probably feasible in the beginning of your small business journey. It took me a couple hours to make 300 of them at a time. I did it while watching TV, so time flew by. If you have a paper cutter, it would probably be much faster. I found it hard to keep these little bags in stock. When I was in a rush to package orders, it didn't make sense for me to make these on a time crunch. I ended up just purchasing white ones that were in stock, but the ink would smudge because of the waxy texture. Now I just buy small plastic bags for all my samples. Another small business packaging tip is to start off by using standard box sizes and adding customization with thermal stickers, stamps, ribbons, bows, whatever you want. You should definitely shop around for the best deals in your area. At the time I launched my business, I found pink boxes from Creative Bag that were on clearance. These are actually bakery boxes, but they worked for my candles. Once the sale was over, they were 70 cents, so I purchased the rest of my boxes on Amazon. They aren't as strong, but the way I was packaging my candles, I just needed a box to enclose my item for Amazon. Then, when you're ready and want to order a large quantity of custom boxes, I use Alibaba. From my experience, I think it offers the most competitive prices. There's pros and cons with it. It's a learning curve for sure. I'm still learning how to work with manufacturers. My favorite small business money saving hack is a thermal printer. There are so many ways to create cute custom packaging with a thermal printer. They don't require ink or toner, which can get expensive over time. They're low maintenance. I haven't had any issues with mine. When I started, I had some thermal 4x6 labels from UPS, so I used them to test out some packaging designs in the beginning. If you're using UPS to ship your products, you can also get free labels in Canada. UPS is a partner carrier for Amazon, so I ship all my orders to the warehouse with them. 
Here are some cute labels and stickers I made with my thermal printers. The last money saving tip is reusing packaging from suppliers. I didn't realize until I started a small business how much money goes into actually wrapping your fragile products. The price of bubble wrap adds up and eco-friendly alternatives are even more costly. In the beginning, I spent zero dollars on wrapping my candles and this is how. I used the boxes that my jars came in as well as the cardboard dividers to wrap all my candles. I took the peanuts from my supply orders to fill the spaces in my boxes if needed. This one order from my supplier had enough peanuts to fill almost two garbage bags. This really helped me in the beginning to save on packaging costs in order to invest my profits back into my business. I can't control how Amazon delivers my packages. They're usually thrown around. Sometimes Amazon will put my candles in a bubble mailer and sometimes they'll put it in a box. I do my best to package my candles securely in the most cost-effective way. During Q4, I found it difficult to keep up with this process. So I started purchasing corrugated rolls to wrap my candles. When your business is growing, you may need to consider time over cost. Improving efficiency can lead to cost savings by reducing the amount of time and labor required to complete tasks. I hope these small business packaging ideas and tips will help you on your small business journey. Thank you so much if you made it this far. And here's a preview on a new product I'm working on. It's coming up, one final song and there's...